point to analyze in all electrocardiogram for interpretation. What this lecture simply means is, if I have an ECG, if I have the paper being given to me, what are the things that I must look out for if I want to interpret that ECG, all right? So we are just trying to list them out, all right? Believing that everybody watching this video just want to know the list or already know the definition, so they just want to what? refresh their memory because we have spoken about all these points. We are only bringing them together in this lecture so I can have them in one place, right? So points to analyze in all electrocardiogram tracing for interpretation. So we said that the 14 point, the following 14 points should be analyzed in every ECG. You take hold of, you must analyze them. Standardization and technical features. Check out for that. Check out for the heart rate. Check out for the heart reading. Look at the P waves. Is it looking typically like a P wave? Look at the PR interval. Is it looking typically like the PR interval? All right, PR interval, beginning of P wave to the onset of what? QRS complex. They are looking at the QRS interval. Is it looking normally like the QRS complex or it is looking something else? <clears throat> then look at the QT interval, which is usually from the Q to the ending of the T wave. Then take the mean QRS electrical axis, all right? Take the QRS voltage, all right? Then look at the precordial R wave progression. <clears throat> Is it normal? Then also spot out for what? Abnormal Q waves. Spot out for ST segments. Spot out, spot out for the T waves and spot out for the U waves. But one thing is the U waves sometimes they could be absent, all right? is when the U waves are elevated because normally they are less than, is it one millimeter or something? So when they are elevated more than that, that's when there's a problem, all right? So these 14 points, these are the points that you must analyze in all ECGs you actually take out of, right? In order to interpret it perfectly.